Hello everyone, hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I would love to show you this uh, beautiful crochet blanket. Actually guys, it's not finished yet, this work, but I would like to show you on how I made this. Actually, it's very easy and simple. Um, stitches. yeah it's very easy and i would i would be always have fun play around with materials colors stitches you know crocheting acts as a mental and physical therapy and there are many beautiful things that are created in the process right and i love it actually this is an okay this is an orders so since she choose this kind of colors so i made it i make it for her so this is the yarn that i used but it depends to you what kind of yarn that you are going to use okay and so it depends to you. So this is the hoop that I use. I like this kind of hoop because it's very easy for me to make the blanket that I make. And I'm gonna show you on how I make on how I make this kind of uh, pattern. Anyway, I would like to give you a... Okay, so I'm gonna... I have to finish this. Actually, it's very easy and simple. This is... Uh, this is good also for absolute beginners like me. Very easy and simple pattern. I hope it's very, you can see it well. Okay. So, about the length and the weave, or the wide, so it could be depend to you because this blanket that I make, this is uh, for single bed or for small bed, as what I show you. And okay, the only you have to do is you are going to make if how many chains that you are going to make. Okay, so it depends uh, how long the measurement that you are going to make for your bed. And um, so I'm going to show you this kind of pattern. Okay, actually it's, this is very easy. Okay, I'm going to start here. For example, I make already a uh, chains, okay? I'll make already a chains here. Then after that, if you are in the end or in the corner, you are uh, you have to make two chains. Okay, two chains, then you turn you have to turn back your work like this. Then after that, you have to continue to make one double crochet in each stitches like this right so you have to make each stitches you have to make one double crochet the same process one double crochet in each stitches i hope it's it's clear to you okay i have to finish this yarn so that we have to start other colors again because uh, the one who requests this, this is the one 
uh, this is the color she like so that's why I follow also her uh, instructions because it it is her order so this is the process one double crochet in each stitch until the end until here until this so until here so i will be back guys okay then i'm gonna show you the next process and how i make okay so stay tuned so i'm gonna show you the first step so you have to make a slip knot and you have to make a chains it depends to you if how long or how how many inches or the width or the length that you are going to 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 make for your bed okay so let's make a chain okay let's make a chain then after we finish if uh, for example 50 chains that we are going to make so until the end okay after that you have to okay you have to make like this your hook and you have to insert your hook your hook here in the third uh, stitch or chain then after that because we are going to make one double crochet in each stitch okay we're going to make one double crochet in each stitch then after that after after this okay until here i'm gonna show you this is our second step right after you make the chains this is the second step you are going to make one double crochet in each stitches so after that so we have to finish until the end the, th the third step that we are going to make okay let's finish this insert the last one here so that balance your work okay then after that you have to chain two one two then return your back return it back your work after you make the one double crochet in each stitches this is the end right you have to make two chains then after that turn back your work then okay one post okay one post we have to insert our hook here we have to get this the second post okay 
this is the one post one post we have to insert our hook here we have to get uh, this post the second post pull over the hook easy and simple then again you have to get your third post behind again okay this is the first we get this in front so in this third post we have to get it this behind do you like this your hook and okay so that it will become like this your work and behind also of this the same as you can see this is back front the same right so the same process so i will show you more so that it would be more easy to be uh, clear for more then again get this post in front front back for front back front back just make a uh, one double crochet so this is aligned right as you can see yeah. line and also here behind the same then next behind then front behind front behind front behind and front the same until you finish this row okay until here and then after that after you finish you have to make another post okay after this after you make this you have to make like this again um one double crochet in each stitch then after you make the one double crochet in each stitch you have to make like this again you have to make rib again after you make this one double crochet in each stitch okay it's very easy and simple the same process this is the third step supposed this is the third step the first step to make chains then after to make chains to make one double crochet in each stitch then after that to make the rib so that become like this the form or the design that's why so thank you guys for watching i hope you like it and if you are new here to this channel please don't forget to subscribe like and feel free to leave a comment down below so that i will know also your feedback about my work so thank you so much guys god bless us all